Hey, Tim Robinson, if you want to be a hurler, you can grab a hurley. And Mick, what, uh, what's the name of your uh, outfit that you uh, play for? Uh, Seattle Gales. You like it? What's your position? Um, I play a corner forward, uh, and then I kind of move around to the mid midfield as well. That's, that's good, Mick. We just wanted to hear you talk a little bit. A lot more coming up from Mick and the hurlers in a bit. You're on TV right now, Mick. Um, yeah, I, I, I play corner. Well, when you think about St. Patrick's Day, do you think about hurling? Maybe you do. <laughs> We're not talking about the results of a pub crawl. Hurling is a sport, a dramatic sport. King Fox Tim Robinson live in Seattle with the Seattle Gales Hurling Club. Tim? Yeah, hey guys, I've got the uh, Keith Highlanders who are playing for us. Guys, move over there a little bit so you can get out of the way of these hurlers and so we can hear ourselves think. Great kids, they're part of a big group. They're all going to be performing this weekend at a lot of St. Patrick's Day events. Now, this is Rob Mullen, and he's part of the uh, Seattle Gales Hurlers. Yes. I'd never heard of that, Rob, until we were getting our segments ready. You have a couple of your players here, and you're part of a league that has three teams? Yeah, we have the Seattle Hurling League, which we play uh, for two years. We've been playing for two years now. All right, so it looks like it's a little bit of a field hockey thing. I see Mick right there. What's Mick going to show us right now? Well, he's going to show you how to do a roll lift. So he's going to do a quick roll lift into the hand. We can't pick the ball up off the ground. So Ooh. There we go. And he takes, he's taking a nice. roll lift and turn it into a freeze. And was he trying to get it through those goal posts he there? He put it over the post for one point. You missed, Mick. You missed. <laughs> Try it again. Gotta... So now what, who do we have here and what's he going to do? Well, this is Justin Meany, and he's going to do, uh, do a jab lift. So when we're running on the ball to pick the ball off the ground, we can't actually pick the ball up with our hand. We have to use the stick to propel it up off the ground. Uh, all right, let's, he's going to do a jab lift here. All right. So then, but he can't run, oh, then he has to put it on his stick a little bit. Yes, that's right. So we, we can take it in the hand, but we can only take four steps. But he can solo the ball, which is balancing it on the stick, solo the ball, uh, where he can bounce it on the stick and run all over the field. If all right, wants. come on back, Mick. I want you to just try that once more. Try to get it through the goalpost. We don't have much time, Mick. We're counting on you. Okay, give it please. again. Oh, oh it nice. Ball. Very nice, Mick. Say goodbye. Throw it back to Carolyn and Alan. Show it to August. Good luck. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we love this guy. <laughs> we just want to hear him talk more. He's one of the hurlers, yeah. That is a great. I remember that from, from my old wide world of sports watching days as a kid. What was that? Uh, watching hurling. just want to hear their accents. Yeah, the, the clash of the ash, Tim. We want to find out if they really call it that. <laughs> that is up for debate. This weekend, everyone's Irish because it's St. Patrick's Day. Now, if you really want to get involved with the Irish culture, you have come to the right place this morning. We are riding along with Tim Robinson, live with the president of a local Irish club and also some uh -oh. very talented hurlers. Tim? Look out, he's armed. Yeah, we... We got it all, you guys, right here, including some real Irishmen right here. What is your name? Sean Bennett. And Sean, what position do you play with I the hurling team? Centre field. Okay, and over here, and your name, sir? Uh, it's Trey Lock Tuhi, okay. and uh, from County Waterford, and I play centre back for. All right, guys. I'm gonna, well, what am I going to do in a minute here for your hurling team? I'm going to throw it in. What do you call that? Uh, it's, it's basically the throw in for the clash. Okay. And uh, clash for the ash. Exactly. All yeah. right. Oh, hold on, guys. Now you got to watch this. These guys go nuts over here. Look at them. They're ready. He's already got a bloody knee. All right. You ready, guys? Just throw it in. Oh, so there they go, right there. See, this is hurling. It's an Irish sport, and these guys are really into it. Rob Mullen right here is one of the players. Now, this is just a full-on game right here. Is this how many guys usually play? Uh, the league games are usually around 9 to 11 guys. So. And how can people get involved if they want to play in your league? Well, they can uh, They go to our website, seattlegales.com, uh, G-A-E-L-S.com, or just search for Seattle and Hurling. Um, uh, you can also come and see us at the uh, Irish Week booth down in Seattle Center, and okay. also we'll be having an open field day on the 20th. 25th at this exact field in Magnolia. Beautiful. Thank you, Rob, very much. I got to get the bagpipers going. This is the Keith Highlanders. Start playing, you guys. We just want to hear you for a little background music. John King, come out here while the Keith Highlanders play. There we go. These guys have been great all morning for us. John King is the president of the Irish Club. Sounds good. Walk over that way a little bit so we can hear. They are so loud. They're awesome. John, real quickly, how healthy is the uh, local Irish club, if we're, you will? We're very active. I mean, we don't have a huge Irish population in society, but I think we're 
uh, in Seattle, but we're probably as organized as any of the Irish communities across the U.S. Well, we want to wish you a very uh, happy St. Patrick's Day this weekend. We hope it all goes well. Thank you. Thank you, very you. Thank you very much, John. Give us a little uh, Irish wish or something like that as you say goodbye. Well, Banachty na Fela Padraig is the in Gaelic. It's happy St. Patrick's Day. All right. Thank you very much, John. I appreciate it. So that's the Irish scene on a Wednesday, a few days before St. Patrick's Day here in Seattle. Alan, Carolyn, back to you guys. All right, Tim, and we'll give you the answer. Yes, they do occasionally call it the Clash of the Ash in Ireland. They do, yeah. The they got, I did it right there. You uh, saw me. Beautiful <laughs> stuff. Thank you, nice sir. Nice clash. <laughs> well, lots of folks will be wearing green on St. Patrick's Day. One Irish club in Seattle is planning to celebrate a little differently. King Five's Tim Robinson is getting into the spirit with some war pipes and hurlers. Hey, a whole bunch coming up for this St. Patrick's Day weekend, including this group right here. This is called the Keith Highlanders. It's just three of a great big group of pipers, and they're going to be playing all around town. You guys go over that way a little bit because you're a little bit loud, and we just don't want you to get hurt by some hurlers. What's a hurler? Well, a hurler is an Irish, I guess, lacrosse player or a uh, field hockey guy. It seems like a combination of the two. This is Rob Mullen, and he's part of the uh, Seattle Gales Hurling Club. Yep, well, Seattle Gales. We actually promote Irish sport all around the Northwest. Okay, I see. Yeah. And uh, hurling is, it seems like, a, a little bit between field hockey and lacrosse. You could imagine it as almost like ice hockey on grass in some case. More of an, but it's more of an aerial game. It's not like it's on, like, the, it's on the, you know, the ice. There. So you guys play, there's three teams I know. When does your season go? Well, we start up around uh, around April and we go until about uh, to August with the league, but we also run a, a national travel team, which actually won the uh, national title last year oh, no kidding. Uh, in our division. Congratulations. Yeah. That's yeah. great. Now, these guys are going to show us a little bit. Let's. Mick, are you ready to do something? What's Mick going to do Mick's right Mick's going to do a jab lift into a free. He's going to take a free and put it over the bar there. Hopefully. All right, Mick. Have at it. Good luck, buddy. To score, he has to go... Ooh. Very and nice. It's good. That's it's good. good awesome. So yeah. that would be worth a point, It would right? be a point, yeah. It's three points underneath the bar, through the goal, past the goalie, and one point over the bar. Oh, I see. All right. Now, who do we have here? And what's Justin he gonna here do? is going to do a roll lift. He's going to bring the ball up into his hand. You can't actually pick the ball up off the ground with your hand. You have to use the stick to propel it up into the air. Justin, can you show us that thing where you do that and then you run while you balance it? And what is yeah, that called? That's called soloing. He's going to solo it on the stick. Now, you can run all over the field all day long by balancing on the stick there. But in the meantime, you have a bunch of other players going after you. Uh, yeah, trying to hit you shoulder to shoulder, uh, hip to hip with legitimate aggression. Now, let me, le legitimate aggression, let me ask you, how can people get involved if they want to get into hurling? Uh, well, they can go to our website, www.seattlegales.com. That's G-A-E-L-S. <laughs> okay, all right. We just lost our bagpipe. Thank you guys very much. The Keith Highlanders, they're going to be playing this weekend. A lot coming up. Uh, so that's the latest from Irish uh, Week on this Wednesday. Reporting for King 5, I'm Tim Robinson.